In December, I made a video about how Trump's NLRB was in the process of implementing the Chamber of Commerce's top 10 labor policy wish list. Some of it was done, some of it was just started, and some of it was pending. But now, less than a year later, they're done. The Trump administration has fully enacted the entire wish list of the biggest corporate lobby in the United States. Roll the tape. I'm Salim Nicholas, Director of Government Affairs here at the Economic Policy Institute. Over the last two years, we at EPI have been tracking the actions of the National Labor Relations Board under the Trump administration. What's the state of U.S. workers today? Extreme inequality and wage stagnation have led more and more workers to demand change. From the West Virginia teacher strike to the Google workers walkout, working men and women recognize the power of collective action. In fact, nearly half of all non-union workers say they would vote for a union if given the opportunity. That's 50% higher than 25 years ago. And most Americans have a favorable view of unions. So with all that going on, what's the state of labor law under Trump? The Trump NLRB is making it harder for working people to organize unions and win higher wages, better benefits, and safer workplaces. Just about every policy implemented by the Trump NLRB has weakened labor protections or reversed policies that were already on the books. Want an example? How about 10? A month after Trump was inaugurated, the country's largest lobby for corporations, the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, published a wish list of its top 10 policies to promote corporate interests at the NLRB. And in just two years, Trump's NLRB has acted on every single one. Corporations asked the Trump NLRB to block workers from suing their employers as a group or in a class action. They got it. Corporations asked the Trump NLRB to make it harder to hold all responsible companies accountable when workers' rights are violated on the job. The Trump administration is delivering. Corporations asked the Trump NLRB to make it harder for workers who want a union to have an election. The Trump administration is working on it. And the list goes on. They want to make it harder to form a union by changing which workers are in the bargaining unit. They want to be able to make unilateral decisions about workplace policies that they used to have to bargain over. They want to be able to discipline union-protected workers during bargaining without notifying the union. They want to be able to prevent workers from using their work email to communicate with each other about workplace and union issues. They want to be able to discipline or even fire workers for using profanity in a labor dispute, even if that interferes with activity previously protected under the National Labor Relations Act. They want to be able to gag employees from talking to each other about employer investigations like sexual harassment. And they want to be able to kick you off company property if you're discussing workplace grievances. The NLRB is supposed to protect workers' rights. Trump has turned it into an agency that delivers for corporate interests like the Chamber of Commerce, which, according to the Center for Responsive Politics, spent nearly $100 million on lobbying in 2018 alone. Working people deserve an NLRB and labor policy that makes it easier for them to form a union and insist on fair wages, benefits, and safe workplaces, not the agenda from a wish list of corporate lobbyists.